Hello everybody, this is Jason Goodson from Gardening with Goody. And today we're going to be working on wicking buckets. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is sift through the compost right here and take all of the large chunks out of it. That way we just have a simple uh, compost. And this compost is made up of hay, of leaves, of dirt and of chicken poop and goat poop. So these buckets are pretty heavy. They have a lot of sand in them. And simply all I want to do is take it and dump as much as I can onto this middle part. As you see, It'll leave back the things that I don't need in there. You know, we're just trying to create as much. We're trying to create as much of this naturally as we can. So all I'm gonna do is just take it and rub. If there's any clumps left over. And that's what we'll, we'll leave on top. And this is a bit of a long process. And that's okay because the process we want to have as much natural compost in there as possible and all this has been matured and used for the last 30 days it's been watered and it's broken down you can see there's some of that material right here that's still in there that hasn't quite broken down fully yet. Alright, so let me show you the results of the first sift through the compost and what it looks like. This is the results of it here. What you're seeing is a lot of the clumps are out of it, but we still have the broke down wood chips and material in here. It goes through the hand pretty easily, as you can tell, and it makes for great compost. Now maybe you can see me here and hear me. Uh, one of the things that I want to go back and remind people about is the fact that I've made some videos like this before, but I learned all this from gardening with Leon and this system really works and if you have a need for container gardening in other words you don't have a lot of land you don't have a place to put a garden this can work for you this is a simple process and you can grow your own food and it's really good uh, Leon breaks it down real good and I'm gonna try to do the best I can here for you so that you can see it as well but it begins with a one gallon water or milk jug and what I like to do and I mark it is I place some dots when we get here a little closer to show you this show this to you specifically I play dots dots around it, about one inch from the bottom all the way around okay there's the holes for it and at the very top you kind of do the same thing is you provide a spot for air to make it to the actual bucket itself all right so what happens on the five gallon bucket and I'll bring this to you up close on the five gallon bucket itself I just got a tractor spot but on the five ga gallon bucket itself you can see right there there it is that little hole you could the, the drill bit doesn't have to be that's a small one but it, it will work okay this is five inches from the very bottom I drill a hole five inches from the very bottom okay and what I'm gonna do with this right here is I'm going to take a saw and cut off the very top of this just leaving the very edge so maybe about a half an inch just cut it straight off right there okay what does that help do that allows this PVC pipe right here this one inch PVC pipe to fit inside of that bucket so what does the finished product look like and I'll come back to the explanation here in just a second well 
this is a used one that I've already used. The cut, the top is cut off right here. All right, and this is what it looks like. Okay, you take this part of your pipe and stick it right down in the middle to where it looks just like this. So that edge is 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 at the very bottom, touches that very bottom, and it it'll go in there, and you pour the water in. To here when you need it to work for you okay so it's a pretty simple process okay that's how it works that's what it looks like the holes are already cut in here you can't see them because it's been used but it does work and it works really well okay and this is what feeds the whole system this is what feeds the whole system the fertilizer everything goes in here all right and as you can see see this line right here this dingy line that dingy line is that water line where the air keeps everything pushed down and the water seeps down into here and feeds the roots it's a really cool system it's a good process and it keeps you from having to water in all the time you can water every two weeks pretty cool i know here's my face right here but here i'm talking to you so let me get my, my face in the picture here but this whole thing works really well and it's a great design for you if you need it for your like if you want to do a porch garden out on the front, front porch of your house, you live in suburbia, suburban areas um, in the city. Um, it doesn't matter. If you're living in an apartment and you have a little loft, and you walk out onto a little loft out there outside of your apartment, this is a great way to do it. Provide it some sunlight, water it every two weeks, provide it some food, and I promise you the food will grow for you. All right, now here's some things that I use in that system, okay? So when I'm putting fertilizer, I like to use this Sea Mineral 90 right here. Let's see if I can get it to focus up for you here. There we go. The C90. All right, it's a great product. You can get it on Amazon. It's pretty simple. And I'll try to leave a link down in the bottom. I use that, and I'll show you how I use it here in just a second. And then, uh, if you don't have compost with fertilizer already in it, I'm gonna get I'll put down a link for this product right here I'm gonna kind of get it a little closer hopefully you can see it maybe it will so I'm gonna just pour it out but it's called sustain okay and I know you can't see it. it's not real clear it's called sustain and sustain is a fertilizer that you can find online as well at Amazon it's a, an 842 it's a it's a really good product and all it is is turkey feathers and chicken poop mixed together now you can do this in several ways uh, and one of the ways I like to do this if you can either do it by starting seeds already and then pl planting the seed like the, the first growth of the seed into the bucket itself but I just like to drop the seeds in there and let the seeds grow naturally uh, from the container itself and that usually works pretty well too so you can do either one of those but it's your choice. Okay, well here's the actual one gallon jug right here with the PVC pipe stuck in the very top, like I said. And what I'm gonna do is take this bucket right here and I'm gonna place it right down into the center of that bucket. Then I'm gonna take the compost and fill it all the way to the top part. Okay, so right here, as you see down into the bucket itself, maybe a little cloudy, but you get the idea. I just covered the very top edge of the wicking bucket itself with the compost. All right, so the next step in the process is just to add a handful of this Sea Salt 90 in there to the fertilizer. And like I said, I'll put a link in the description below for it. I wouldn't say any more than that right there. It doesn't take a whole lot. And all I really do is literally just sprinkle it in. So take this bag out of the way, set it to the side. All right, so what does that do? 
for your plants. Well, one of the things it does, especially for tomatoes, is it provides it a way for it to keep the leaves green as it's growing and processing. And that's what the final product looks like. And now you're just ready to plant your seed and go to work. So that really is the simple nature of making a wicking bucket. And it's pretty sustainable and it's easy to use. And I hope you have really good luck with it. Let me know how it's going. We'll see you next time on Gardening with Goody.